Welcome everybody to this episode of the Chris's Cheesing It Up. Today we have a French cheese Roquefort. Stay tuned. Roquefort cheese is made in the southern part of France and believe it or not is actually a cheese that was banned here in the United States for quite a few years. More recently over the course of the last couple of years we've started to see certain brands come back but the reason why it was banned was because of the potential presence of E. coli. This cheese is made non-pasteurized which all non-pasteurized products for the most part are not allowed to be sold here in the United States. This one however is relatively unique. I presume it was tested by the FDA for potential E. coli. Passed the test and now it's here. Either that or we're going to get very sick trying this uh, cheese. In all seriousness though the E. coli that's in this cheese, generally it is non-harmful to humans, but any type of presence of E. coli traditionally has been a non-starter for the United States importing any type of product. So I went ahead and unwrapped this cheese and give it a good smell. You definitely can tell this is part of the blue cheese family just based on the pungent smell and also a lot of the veining that's uh, right inside the cheese. This veining is slightly, slightly blue slightly green, call it like almost a greenish uh, blue color. But we're gonna go ahead and we're going to slice this baby up. And I hope I don't get sick trying this cheese, but we're gonna give it a try. Definitely a strong bitterness associated with it. Very flavorful. Again, this is probably a good substitute for a blue cheese. In terms of what makes this cheese a little bit different, predominantly because it's made in France. Every single country has their own version of blue cheese, which is made pretty similarly. Uh, what's different about this one is made with sheep's milk, while traditional blue cheese is made with a cow's milk. So sheep's milk may potentially carry a little bit of a sweeter taste associated with it. They definitely pick up a little bit more sweetness on the front end of this cheese, and that bitterness of classic blue cheese on the very back end. That's right, so overall, uh, pretty solid cheese to uh, potentially try. Again, this is my first time having this type of French cheese. I've had many other types of French cheese. Very strong tasting. So if you don't like very potent, full-bodied flavored cheeses, this is probably not gonna be the cheese for you, but if you are somebody that likes blue cheese, this is probably uh, potentially a good alternative for you. On a scale of one to 10, probably a seven and a half to eight in terms of overall potentness. Not as potent as maybe what I thought it was going to be, or maybe I'm just killing my taste buds due to all the different types of cheeses that I've had that are pretty potent. But overall, uh, pretty solid cheese, good alternative to blue cheese if you'd like to try it. Till next time, keep cheesing it up.